Okay, YouTube's on. Okay, uh, let me just call this case and uh, ask for announcements. Um, this case is uh, P-37665. This is in the uh, state of Ramiro Guerra. Let me have announcements from all participants, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Pam Alexander. I represent the uh, movement beneficiary, Mary Guerra, and um, she is present. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rondell, Rondell, I'm sorry, I keep butchering your name, sir, but- oh, That's all right, Your Honor. State your uh, name and, and what, your, what your capacity is. Uh, my name is Scott Rondell. I re represent my deceased wife, Yvonne Rondell. Okay. And the only other person we have is the court reporter, Mr. Katania. Okay, Ms. Alexander, as I had stated in our conference before we got on the record, um, this is this was uh, pursuant to a show cause order issued by the court, setting that and your motion uh, to remove. Uh, I issued the show cause order to assure that we would have a return of citation to have authority to remove Georgiana Gray from as her capacity as executor of the estate. I don't have a return of citation in the record. I checked uh, yesterday afternoon, so I don't believe that it's been returned. Um, as I stated to you earlier, uh, I, well, first, I did not set your motion to, uh, to appoint a successor executor. I was hoping that this would be an opportunity to have Ms. Gray uh, make herself available to the court and to your, uh, receptive to your motions to see if this thing could progress any. I sent her a copy of the motion, the show cause order through regular mail to um, um, increase the possibilities that she would make an appearance. Uh, she hasn't. Uh, I know you suggested, tell, tell me on the record, what was your suggestion again, please? Well, Your Honor, I had suggested that perhaps if the court would want to um, reset this matter and set it with my other motion, um, that way if the court chooses to, um, to remove Miss Gary, that we could also have a new executor appointed. And that would also give us the opportunity to make sure she gets served and also serve um, Blaine Morales, who is named in the will as the alternate executor. So we would need to have him served as well if, if we're gonna name somebody. Okay. Um, I've referenced the history of this case. I had. Uh, Either this matter was, was originally set on February 28, 2019. Uh, my recollection is that no one appeared. I think Mr. Talbot appeared 20 or 30 minutes after because we had proceeded to other cases and I could be confusing the cases. In any event, I did grant Mr. Talbot's motion to withdraw. No one else appeared and this case just kind of sat there for all this time. So in light of the delay in this case, I just don't have any reason to expect that the lady's gonna to respond to another motion as you suggest. Okay. I'd like to have an opportunity to review the statutory authority I have to remove her uh, essentially ex parte for her uh, unwillingness to respond to the court. Uh, and I will set, so if I can do that, I intend to do it. I will set your motion to appoint a successor. Uh, I have an order set in a hearing date that creates the notice requirements. Uh, and I'd like to review that order um, as to what notice I would require of the named six, um, alternate executor and, yes. and any other uh, heirs. Um, um, Mr. Rundell, as long as you're, do we have your correct address? When we, when we send notices to you, are you able to receive them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're still at that same address? Yes, sir. Okay. You're right, right. Ms. Alexander, there's nothing else. That's kind of how I would like to proceed. Uh, your response? Uh, your Honor, that would be fine. And then I, so you'll, you'll go ahead and um, let us know the kind of notice requirement that you're going to have for the executor, the alternate. Yeah, it's included in the order. 
It's, okay, it, Your Honor. And, and you'll know what to do on the notice, and 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 you, I guess I'll I'll do that order with uh, removing uh, Miss Gray at that time. Okay, Your Honor. And just a curiosity sorry. with Mr. Rendell, um, do you happen to have communication with Miss um, Gary? Uh, Miss Gary has had one communication with us since Romero's death and then she blocked us all on her phone social media and will not respond we've had zero contact with her okay I just was wondering your honor if perhaps someone else was able to but for the record you know I talked to my stepson Blaine almost daily and he is more than willing to take over the executor position and get this thing handled okay that's good to know is that what you're seeking to have appointed Ms. Alexander um, well, well, Your Honor, my motion had been for my client, but uh, my client just wants things to move. So, <laughs> I mean, if if Miss if Mr. Morales is is willing to do it and he's you know going to get it done, then I'm sure that that would be fine. It's it's just so the gentleman he mentioned is Blaine Morales. Is that the named secondary? Yes, Your Honor. He's the named alternate. Mm -hmm. Okay, your 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 client's desperate to talk. <laughs> yes, Judge, I don't I don't know what to what to do because I can't hear anything she's saying. No, um, no, no, I think she can hear us. Well, I mean, we need to know what you want to do if, if you want to have a. Well, uh, first, know, after we finish this with it, it, with your client and make sure she's uh, willing and modify your motion. Uh, uh, as to who do you want to appoint as successor, y'all need to have a uh, off the record conversation about that. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Randell, can um, can you give me your phone number, please, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. It is 989-737-1267. Can you give me Blaine Randell's address and phone number also, sir? Do you know how address? Uh, you know, I have it on my phone, but I don't know how to access it while I'm doing this call. I'm not very technologically advanced. I uh, build like, houses. I, yeah, <laughs> my kids always show me stuff like that. <laughs> well, let me have you share that with Miss Alexander when you all have your conversation. All right. Because we'd like to make a record of his address. Yes, sir. Is that any everything we can do today, Miss Alexander? Yes, Your Honor. That would be that would be fine. That's everything. Okay. If there's nothing else, um, we'll recess this court proceeding, uh, and you'll hear from me soon, sometime next week, on those orders, removing and the order setting a hearing on your motion. Okay. Perfect, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Then uh, you all have a nice day. All right. Thanks, Your Honor. You too. Thank you. Call your.